So guys, welcome to another episode of my Chelsea crew mode here for FIFA 16. Today we're at episode 8 of season 1 and we're jumping straight into a game in the Champions League against AS Roma. If we do pick up a win in this game, we will secure our spot in the round of 16 of the Champions League. So if you guys do want to enjoy today's episode, go ahead and leave a like rating, drop a comment down below that I could respond to, and make sure you also subscribe if you are new around here. Thank you guys so much for support on the weekend uploads. We did have a double upload Saturday, and then we did have a lengthy episode of Career Mode on Sunday, and both of them did go down very well, and we will be doing that again this coming weekend. So this is my Chelsea side going into this game. Lucas will be starting as uh, out on the left side of the central attacking midfield position and Lucas has been quite a disappointment since we did sign him during the first transfer window so Lucas may be sold during the January transfer window uh, you guys have to wait and find out the January transfer window is right around the corner so like I did say subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos but in the 25th minute, 25th minute of this game against AS Roma, we did take a 1-0 advantage as it's Falcao who picks up a goal. And that's a very rare goal for Falcao. He hasn't been playing too well so far this season, but it's a very rare goal for him. And we lead AS Roma 1-0. The last time we did play AS Roma in our Champions League group, uh, just previously uh, during the weekend we did play them and the game against AS Roma did end in a 3-2 victory for us after we were 2-0 up AS Roma did score two goals to make it 2-2 and then we got a late goal in that game to win it 3-2 but AS Roma had a good chance in the 74th minute they're going to hit the crossbar as in the 76th minute straight from that chance the ball gets played through to find Falcao he was a 1-1 -on -one with the goalkeeper and he puts a one off target you guys have seen from this game Falcao is He's just a really inconsistent player. He scored that header from the corner, and then he has a chance, really a one-on-one, -on -one, and he does put that one wide. But in the 89th minute, Ace Roma do go on the attack. They're playing the ball around. They're through on goal. The shot is saved from Courtois, and from that, we do clear the ball out. As the game is going to end in a 1-0 victory to us, we pick up a 1-0 win in the first game of today's episode, and that is a perfect way to start it off. So that means, guys, we're going through to the knockout stages to the round of 16 of the Champions League as we'll be taking a look at the Champions League group right after this game Sporting are going to most likely be finishing in first we're in second as Roma and Sevilla mathematically won't be going through to the knockout stages they will be knocked out of the Champions League so we have come back from last all the way to going through to the Champions League. We didn't actually start off our Champions League group stage too well with a loss to Sevilla. And it is quite surprising to see teams like Roma and Sevilla not going through to the knockout stages of the Champions League. As we take a look at the top scorers in the BPL and it's Diego Costa who is tied with the Watford striker. But Diego Costa is in first in the top goal scorers, which is awesome to see. As we're heading to the second game of today's episode and this is a massive one. It is against Spurs. It's Spurs versus Chelsea in the Premier League. And we did hit first in the last episode. We've finally reclaimed our spot at the top of the Premier League table at White Hart Lane. It's Tottenham versus Chelsea. As we take a look at the league table, like I did say, we're sitting in first. Five points ahead of second, who are surprisingly Newcastle. And if we win this game, we could possibly go eight points ahead of second already in the Premier League season, which is awesome to see. Spurs are down in eighth. They haven't really started the season too well, so they're looking to get this season back on track. Harry Kane, Eriksen, Lamella. It's a very strong Tottenham Hotspur side, and obviously Hugo Lloris will be starting in goals. So take a look at my Chelsea side. Traore will be starting as a striker alongside Diego Costa, Eden Hazard, and Pogba in the midfield. Also is uh, Loftus-Cheek and Cesc Fabregas, Aspilicueta, Kurt Zuma, Marquinhos, and Ivanovic at the back. And Coutinho will be starting goals. We have the likes of Pedro Falcao out on the substitutes. I have a very strong Chelsea side, and I can really see ourselves going all the way this season to winning the Premier League. We've already got that perfect start to the Premier League season and could quite possibly go all the way in the Champions League, depending on how we do go. But in the seventh minute of this game, we do receive a penalty and you guys can see that Diego Costa was making his way onto goal. He got taken down inside the area. And we have a penalty. We score this. We go 1-0 in the lead at 
White Hart Lane. And this is a perfect start to this game against Spurs. So the man who is going to step up and take this penalty is Eden Hazard. He has been doing quite well from the penalty spot so far this season. And he's actually going to miss it. Eden Hazard miss, misses the penalty. He actually puts it straight to the Tottenham goalkeeper. And uh, yeah, it's a save. And scores are going to remain at 0-0 in this game. It's in the 29th minute. Tottenham are playing the ball around. It's Davies who is on the ball. He's going to look to play it inside as Fabregas puts in a challenge. Ball gets played to Harry Kane as he takes a shot. He did have his back turned to goal. And that's a pretty easy save there for Thibaut Courtois, making sure that one did not put Tottenham Hotspur in the lead. In the 40th minute, it's Spurs with the shot. And it just goes wide of the goal. And Spurs in the later stages of the first half did have plenty of chances on goal just putting that one wide there Courtois had to pull off a save but in the early stages of the second half Pogba does have a chance to put ourselves one knee on the lead he plays the ball to Eden uh, to Cesc Fabregas sorry as he takes the shot and he just goes wide of the goal. So we're having our chances in the early stages of the second half, trying to hit back from a pretty disappointing end to the first half with Spurs having most of the chances. Harry Kane having another chance on goal. It's a huge deflection. And yet again, Courtois has to pull off a save. So in this game, it was really back and forth between obviously us and Spurs, back and forth between these teams. But we did have a chance later on in the second half as Traore makes his way onto goal. Down the wing, he takes the shot. And there's actually two plays free inside the area maybe should have crossed that one and we could have got an easy goal to win ourselves this game but the game is going to end in a nil nil draw against Spurs so a nil nil draw against Spurs I will take that one point in this game we now go six points ahead of second in the Premier League we're already two games ahead of second in this Premier League season and like I did say, we've got off to the perfect start to this Premier League season. If we do keep it up with winning games here against Bournemouth, picking up three points against a team like Bournemouth, we could quite possibly go all the way to winning the Premier League title. And that would be insane. At Stamford Bridge, it's Chelsea versus Bournemouth. And let's jump into this game. This game will be the end of the gameplay portion of today's episode. We will be having a squad report before we do conclude today's episode. We take a look at my lineup yet yeah, again. It's a 4 2-2-2 two, two, two. like I, I have been saying I've really been calling it a 4-4-2 but in my opinion it's a 4-2-2-2 two, two, two formation and it's a formation I haven't used at all throughout FIFA 16 and but for some reason it's working with this Chelsea team and I'm going to leave it the way it is this is the Bournemouth side pretty standard 4-4-2 four, four, formation I do have a pretty strong lineup going to this game at Stamford Bridge so we should be picking up all the three points in this game, not dropping any points against Bournemouth. It is Diego Costa, who is the Premier League's top goal scorer, as you guys did see earlier on in the episode. But in the fourth minute of this game, Traore tries to make his way onto goal. He plays the ball inside to find Oscar, safe from the goalkeeper. Ball falls to Cesc Fabregas. That's an easy goal for Fabregas. And we do lead Bournemouth 1-0 after five minutes. A perfect way to, to start this game against Bournemouth. But they did try and hit back in the 11th minute as Courtois doesn't have to pull off one save he has, to, he has to actually pull off two saves to make sure Bournemouth don't level it at 1-1 but in the 43rd minute ball gets played through to find Pedro Pedro making his way into goal he cuts it back inside takes the shot and that is an unbelievable save from the Bournemouth goalkeeper making sure that this game does stay at a 1-0 advantage to us and making sure that Bournemouth don't go 2-0 down in this game putting themselves uh, in this game. In the 55th minute, it's actually a header. It's gone into the back of the net. It's 1-1, Chelsea versus Bournemouth. Bournemouth has have shocked us, and they've got to go back. And could Bournemouth uh, make a shock result in this game and at least take one point from Stamford Bridge? In the 63rd minute, Diego Costa plays the ball to find Traore. And yet again, it's a good stop there from the Bournemouth goalkeeper. As this game is actually going to end with Chelsea 1, Bournemouth 1. So we did start off the episode really good with a win against AS Roma. A draw against Spurs, I'll take that. We're still sitting first in the Premier League. But a 1-1 draw against Bournemouth, we should be doing better than that. But obviously, we're still sitting first in this Premier League season. And that is what we want. As we will be having a squad report before we do end off the episode. Ivanovic, Marquinhos, Kurt Zuma, Aspilicueta, Paul Pogba, Hazard, Diego Costa, 
foul count. All these players are growing with their overalls, which is awesome to see. Traore's gone up by one, Jinta's gone up by one, and so has Willian. The players are developing so well. I'm enjoying this series so much, and you guys are enjoying it also. With your supportive comments down below in the comment section for you guys that do follow my videos and everything, uh, I do respond to you guys in the comment section. And uh, yeah, let's have a chat down below. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both links will be down below in description. There also is a full series playlist, obviously. You guys can see the squad report why I am ending off today's episode. Click subscribe if you are new around here. Leave a like rating like I did say. Your guys' support has been insane throughout this series. And I'm enjoying making these videos. And thank you guys so much for that. So like I did say, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch up on any episodes you may have missed. And I'll see you all on my next video.